What is up everybody, I'm the Legendary Commander and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. In this video, I'm going to show you how to steal the Orphic Hammer without having to sleep with that lady dude succubus thing. You'll either need a really good lot pick, or you'll need the spell knock. You'll also need a trap disarm tool. You're going to need to be quick and perceptive. The first thing you need to remember to do once you are there is to play the part. Even if you don't really want to help Hope or have no plans to help Hope, Pretend you will use her, and then don't talk to her other than the one time that you had to. She leads you to more chats, which really you don't need to deal with. The first place you're going to want to go is where the Orphic Hammer is actually located, which means you're going to go straight through the main door, head through the main hall, head to the right, and then circle all the way back around to the left. You're going to pass by a door with a force field on it. Ignore it for now, however it is important. You're going to walk into a room with a bunch of magical items. This room has a tiefling in it. You need to go talk to the tiefling. When the opportunity presents itself to detect thoughts, detect thoughts on this tiefling. From here, you'll need to be a little bit persuasive, but then you'll need to ask about the Orphic Hammer. With this invitation, you'll be able to walk right into the hot tub room where you can be restored on all your spells and everything, but that's not so important as where you're going to be headed. From here, you're going to want to be quiet. You're going to want to crouch and go up the left side of the restoration room. At a certain point, you'll start to see a vision cone. Somebody will also pop up behind you, creating a much larger vision cone. Just wait for that one to go away. But you'll see along the edge as you enter the bedroom, there's an empty diagonal of vision cone. You can slide up this if you're careful and get all the way to the painting on the left. Once you get close enough, you will pop a perception check. On a success, you'll see that the painting will be wreathed in fire. On a failure, just go grab somebody else and repeat the process. Make sure to do this with one character at a time. From here, you're going to have to be able to disarm this. This is where somebody like Astarion or somebody else who is really good at disarming stuff is going to be helpful. Once you disarm this trap, all you have to do is press the button, the painting will lift up, and you will see a safe behind it. The safe's lock is harder than the disarm trap was. Thankfully, you get multiple tries, but the DC is 25 versus the previous 20. If you fail to succeed on the lock picking, well, you're stuck with this other option. You're going to want the spell knock, and if you have Misty Step, it'll be useful. You're going to want to stealth over to the painting. Once you do, you want to turn the turn-based mode on. What you will then do is cast knock on the safe. You will stand up. So will the succubus, but actually her stealth vision cone will move further away. She'll be stuck standing there and waiting. If you have another character close by, you could have them stealth up and reach into the safe. However, you can also, if you can do it correctly, steal with the character that you have standing. Otherwise, they will take notice of you. Once you steal the items, you're going to want to misty step away or stealth walk away the best you can. Get as far away as possible, and then head back to the Orphic Hammer with the entire group. Once you're back to the Orphic Hammer, speak the magic words, and you will begin the process of fighting your way out of the place. The succubus will not be a problem as she will just disappear. This means you can use the restoration room from earlier and regenerate spells, health, all that stuff and just basically go wild until you get to Raphael. Be sure to top off before you fight Raphael. So guys, this is how you get the Orphic Hammer without selling your body to the Succubus, dying as a Deviant with the Succubus, or fighting her. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope it taught you something. I hope it helped in some way. If it did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to tell your friends. But you all take care. And I will catch you next time.